Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today you already know from the title and from where I'm standing, we're doing yet another closet decluttering. And yes, I did one at the very beginning of December. I'm not becoming a minimalist, but I'm trying to become more minimalistic specifically because my husband and I are hoping to move sometime this year, hopefully around June. Um, at least by the beginning of next year. And as we're kind of looking at apartments and like thinking about moving, I keep getting like a little bit nervous because I'm like, oh, I just have so much stuff and I don't want to take it all with me. So I have been slowly getting better at decluttering things and it's nothing that I've really purchased recently. Like I feel like in the past year, year and a half, I've gotten really good at only buying things that I know I'm going to like, that I know I'm going to wear. And none of the things I've bought recently have really um, been a hindrance on me. It's mostly been pieces that I have from years and years ago that I'm just holding on to for whatever reason and maybe it doesn't fit me anymore or maybe it does but it's just not my style but I'm holding on to it because I'm like well it used to be my style like maybe I'll wear it again. I think over the past like two years like as I've just gotten older and as I've just become like more self-aware I guess as a person I have really honed in on what my style is and kind of just been more selective about what I like. Like I have a very specific style now. I really love colorful things and vintage things and I love those pieces. And so I found myself starting to gravitate away from the pieces that I had pre-pandemic. So things from like 2019 or even 2020. It's also like springtime. So I wanna pass along pieces that are no longer serving me that I don't wear anymore to someone else. I've just been slowly decluttering here and there because I am very much like a non-minimalist at heart like I want to keep everything just in case I'm sure some of you are like that too like you have something and it's like a shirt and it still fits you and it looks fine but for some reason it just doesn't fit your vibe or style anymore okay I just need to let go of things that I don't need anymore and especially with moving I do not want to move all of these clothes I only so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today another big closet decluttering the main thing we're really gonna work on decluttering is my trunk I don't think you can see it here, but I have a trunk down there. I've mentioned it before. That's kind of where I keep my off season items. So in the summer, I put my sweaters in there. And right now, a lot of my t-shirts and like spring and summer items. So I'm gonna bust those out, getting ready for spring, even though it's still cold. And then I'm going to kind of like go through that and kind of like pick through and see what still fits my style and what doesn't. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, a giant closet decluttering. And if you're new here, of course, before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday and they're always thrift and clothing and style and vintage related. If you're into any of that or if you're into closet declutterings in general, definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos going forward. So we're about to get right into the decluttering, but first a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Poshmark. I've used their app many times when I do these closet declutterings just because it really is the easiest way to list things. Normally when I'm doing these closet cleanouts, five to 10 to 15 to 20 items, and I don't want to sit all day listing them. So Poshmark's easy to use system really makes it easy to list things. And then it's great too, because it's a sustainable way for me to rotate things out of my closet, give it a better home with some of you guys. So I haven't decluttered my closet yet, but I do have a couple pieces that I've picked out already that I am currently selling on Poshmark that you can shop. Anything else I declutter in today's video will also be available in my Poshmark closet. But here's a little sneak peek of some of the things I've already decluttered. So this was one of those things that fit my style really well a couple years ago, but doesn't quite anymore. I love this top so much. It's a really pretty multiple floral top with a black background. I loved this when I worked in an office, but I don't work in an office anymore. So that one is available on Poshmark. And if you saw my thrifting road trip video a couple weeks ago, I'm actually selling this dress from the video. I love this dress so much. It just doesn't quite fit me in the chest quite right. So I am selling this one on Poshmark as well. It's a super cute vintage summer dress. It's got pockets and it buttons up the front. This is another piece I will be decluttering. This is a gorgeous neutral brown polka dot dress <laughs> just doesn't quite fit my style anymore I'm definitely more into color these days so that one is available on Poshmark and then last is this really cute neutral bodycon dress so that one is available on Poshmark as well I personally love layering this over turtlenecks and it's super fun so if you want to shop those pieces and anything else I declutter in today's video download the app in the US Canada India and Australia and be sure to click the link in the description box to shop these pieces and more so huge thank you once again to Poshmark for sponsoring today's video now let's get back into the decluttering because I am ready okay so we're gonna go through the trunk first because like I said that's where a lot of my summer 
and spring pieces are so that's where it's going to be easiest to find things um that might be a little bit older or i haven't looked at in a while so first we have this vintage kind of like polo top i really like this um there was a time where i felt like really insecure in it but i feel like now i'm definitely a lot more comfortable with my style and my body and i feel like this is more me now it's actually really really cute so it's got a collar and then this floral embroidery i'm pretty sure i got this at the goodwill outlet i like this because it's easily layerable with cardigans and i do feel like i still wear this pretty often so i'm gonna keep that vintage shorts definitely holding on to those okay time to bust open the real trunk okay this dress i have like a love-hate relationship with this dress i don't know it is so cute it also is kind of hard to do this right now because I haven't had a chance to wear them. So it would make more sense to be going through the sweaters after we've kind of gone through the winter. This one I think I'll hold on to for now. I only got a chance to wear it like once or twice last year. So I'd like to see how like new year, new me reacts to this because it is a really pretty pink 80s dress and I just love the stripes. I feel like it's a little bit more of a unique find for me. So I'm gonna hold on to that. This one I've held on to for a while and I really do think that this one, it's time for me to switch it out. I like it. So this is a yellow romper. It's hard, but I just feel like I don't feel myself reaching for this. Like this definitely is a cute thing and I would still wear it, but I'm like, it's not really something I gravitate towards. It's not really something I live, laugh, love for. So gotta think of the move. Think about packing all this. I think I am gonna declutter this. This is also one of those things that I would never like notice if it just went missing. And I feel like if that's the case, it's definitely not something I should keep. Like I shouldn't have it in my closet. Like if it's not something currently on my mind or something that I'm really gonna be sad without. So I'm gonna declutter this. It is a really nice, um, like kind of like romper jumpsuit. I used to be a really big romper girl, but I think I'm just into dresses now. Lots of vintage shorts in here. Gonna definitely keep all of those because plus size vintage shorts that have a good fit are definitely hard to come by. So won't be decluttering those. A lot of this in here are my vin are my concert tees too. Isn't as much in this trunk to declutter as I thought there was. A, a large majority of this is like my old concert t-shirts so a lot of that is going to be hard to um ever declutter like i'm never going to because that would be horrible okay this one is where it gets tough i have had this romper since maybe 2015 it's a vintage romper it doesn't fit great on me now but it still fits I just have so many memories in this. Like, I just remember being so excited finding this. This was like the first true vintage piece I found after like starting to get into the vintage. I think I'm gonna have to hold on to this one. I just think I have too many good memories in this. And I feel like it's like one of those things, like what if 20 years from now, my niece sees like a picture of me wearing this and then she's like, oh my gosh, what happened to that? Like, I feel like for my niece, you know? Okay, now we're heading to the main closet. I definitely feel like there's some things on the corners that don't quite like everything in this area is pretty current but in the corners where things kind of get stuck a little that's where we have a little bit of a discrepancy so let's see what's hiding back here the dresses is good i did pull that tan um dress out the other day and that was the main thing that i was like oh i really don't wear this anymore do i the dresses are hard because that's something i'm always going to go through this is another one. I actually think I'm going to declutter this. This is a recent find that just, it's just not my style. I really want to be this girl that wears this cool like floral slip dress, but it's just not me. I've put it on a couple times to wear and then every time I just take it off because I don't know, there's just certain things I don't feel confident in and it's necessarily like a body issue or anything. It's just like, this isn't me. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. It's a really cute vintage 90s floral kind of like slip dress here's the pattern on it isn't that so fun like again i wish i could wear this but it's just not me like every time i put it on i'm like i don't know how to style it all this is pretty current i believe okay i'm just gonna show this to you because i love this i got this at the katy perry concert in vegas how freaking cute is this baseball tee it's got a mushroom on it and it says eat me I think it's so cool. I'm not decluttering it, but I wanted to show you because I haven't like shown it to you yet. There was one thing I do remember. Okay, this sweater has been haunting me in my closet 
all winter. I love it. I think it's super cool. It's got just like that nice kind of neutral everyday pattern. It's just not me. There was a time, like I said, when I worked in like an office kind of setting where this was like a great everyday staple. It's so cute. And that's why I've been holding on to it. But I just, I, it's been all winter. Like it's been cold for a while now and I have not worn it once. It's from the boutique brand Bohm. I'm sad to see it go because I do love kind of like the professional color palette of it, but I also don't love the fit on me either. So this one's gonna go sad to see her go, but take this as inspiration. If you have something in your closet and you just feel like it's kind of dragging you down a little bit, not necessarily in a bad way, but it's just like, you know, you're never gonna wear it, but you keep holding onto it, just declutter it because it, life's too short. Oh, this was another one. I've had this for a long time. I've had this since before, since before, or I think I got this like right as I started my channel. So it's like 2019. And actually funnily enough, I did get this on Poshmark. I remember actually, I got my tonsils out in 2019 and I was in like so much pain. I was dying. I was like laying in my bed. I was so bored. So I remember getting this on Poshmark. I loved this for so many years. I wore this probably consistently for two years in a row, but I just don't love it anymore. Really cute white sweater from Anthropology. It's from the brand Knitted and Knotted and it's got these kind of like fun fuzzy sleeves every time i post in this on instagram everyone loves it so hopefully this will find a good home but i don't know why why have i outgrown this i don't know i am sad i am sad to see it go because like i said i've had it for so long i definitely haven't worn it this winter at all and maybe not even the winter before so i don't know and it's also kind of funny how it's come full circle like got it on poshmark and now i'm circulating it back through Poshmark. So there's that one. Actually finding more than I thought I would, which I'm very proud of because not that I want to declutter my entire closet, like in a perfect world, I would love everything all the time. But again, there's just those things from like 2019, 2018, 2020 me that aren't 2022 me. So actually I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep this. If you guys don't know the story behind this, I've told this in a closet decluttering video before. I posted this on Instagram once, like me wearing it. And this lady commented and said like, that shirt's so ugly, the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. I think she said like diarrhea shirt or something. Sorry, I usually don't talk like that. But then my sister responded and was like, I think the shirt's cute. And then that lady went through every post of my sister's <laughs> Instagram and commented like ugly, diarrhea, you're stupid. She even like DM'd my sister and was like, wow, you're so ugly. And my sister and I just thought it was funny. Like it didn't actually hurt my sister's feelings, but that's the story behind this t-shirt. I actually am gonna wear this. I feel like this is just something I haven't thought of in a while, but I do wanna wear it because I saw someone post something very similar to this on Instagram the other day that they had for sale. And I was like, oh, I wanna buy that but I already have it. So I'm actually gonna keep this. This is a really cool um, t-shirt and it has that fun um, diarrhea lady memory. So that's cool. I'm actually gonna kind of move this to the front of the closet because I think it'll get a little bit more attention there. This is one I think I'm gonna declutter too. I do like it, but it's just not quite me. I'm just not the professional girl. Not that there's anything wrong with that. In my fantasies, I feel like I am. Like I do have professional looks, but I really don't. I really just dress like a clown most days obviously. This one I am going to declutter. It's a really cool Valentine's top from Eloqui and it's perfect timing because it's almost Valentine's Day and hopefully you might be able to get it before then. It is a really cute top but maybe if I worked in an office again or had somewhere like fancy to go I would keep that. This is a perfect example so this is the white polka dot sweater I thrifted this year that I feel like fits my style way more than those other two white sweaters that I'm decluttering. To the naked eye, they seem the same. To me, for some reason, they are very different and this one is way more wearable to me. So I don't know, maybe that makes sense. I don't know how to explain my brain. I'm just here for the ride. I see my purses up there and every time I declutter my closet, they haunt me, but I can't declutter them just yet. I love my purses so much. Okay, I think it's time now to do what I always do, which is kind of go back through, re um, reorder things in rainbow order. That also helps me too. It helps my brain because then when I'm getting dressed, it's easy, but also it's nice because then I can find anything that's like slips through the cracks. So let's go through, let's rainbow ties this. I know I do that in every single decluttering video, but I really do like it. I think, you know, my closet is aesthetically pleasing for about three days before I do some like outfit reel and then it all just blows up. But yeah, let's do that now.
This is funny too. So this is a sweater I've also had for a long time, but it's still my style. I believe I thrifted this. I'm gonna say like around 2017. And yeah, it just withstood the test of time. It's just funny. There's some pieces that you love so much for a season. And then there's some pieces like this that you just bond with for life. I don't know what it is, but if it looks good, it looks good. And like, nothing's gonna change that, you know? Okay, it's not perfect, definitely not this side. This side's kind of just like a catch-all, so I didn't organize it, but I actually decided to do it differently. So I normally do rainbow order and then like white, brown, black, but I decided to put the neutrals on that end and then the rainbow over here, just cause like, again, I, that's kind of what I gravitate towards. So it almost makes more sense that way. I feel like on camera, it doesn't look good, but just trust and believe. Like here's kind of the yellows and oranges peeking out there. Like all the good colorful spots are kind of hidden, but you get the vibe. So here is the, here's the stack of declutterables. Let's see, probably like 10-ish items, which I feel like is really good. So yeah, I mean, I think that's gonna be it for today. Definitely, I probably should do another one of these like at the end of summer or even in the middle of summer, just kind of going through the spring items. Like what am I grabbing? What am I not? But if you're like me, even if you're not like planning on moving anytime soon, Definitely, you know, it is hard. It's hard to, especially when you love clothes and you love fashion, emotionally unattach yourself from certain things from the past. But honestly, in my personal experience, I don't think I've ever sold anything or donated anything that I just felt like wasn't serving me and then regretted it later, like maybe one or two things. But other than that, like it always feels better after there's more space in my closet now, there's more space just to wear what I love and there's just a weight lifted off. And now I know if I move this year, I will have a little bit easier of a time with the decluttering part. So yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna shop any of the pieces I decluttered, click the link in my description box to download the Poshmark app. Huge thank you again to Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click that link once again in the description box to download the app in the US, Canada, India, and Australia. Comment down below, what are your thoughts? Are you kind of like in the same spring cleaning mode that I am? It's not even just with my clothes, like I've been going through my books, I've been going through every like little thing that I have, my jewelry, just decluttering because I'm like, I'm ready just to like, let it go. I'm new year, new me, new year, spring cleaning, out with the old, in with the new. That's what we're doing. So comment down below, let me know what you think. Again, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a like and leave a nice comment down below. Even if you don't really have anything to say, leave some emojis in the comments. Just like, let me know you're here. I would love to say hi. Other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.